Hi everyone, welcome to Build It Yourself Laboratory. I'm Addy, one of the many inventors at Build It Yourself. I hope everyone's excited to learn the Build It Yourself basics before we start inventing. So let's start by talking about the Build It Yourself mission. Can someone read the mission out loud for everyone, please? The mission. Build It Yourself is looking for a few smart ladies and some hairy-chested men to save the world from vile villains who build mean machines and scurrilous scoundrels who make a mess. That was great. Build It Yourself wants to solve the world's biggest problems. Who can think of some big problems in the world today? Maybe like world hunger or pollution. Those are some good examples and exactly the sort of problems we want to solve here. Of course, we can't solve this big problem on our own. We have to work together in teams. Very little important work gets done these days without a team effort. Let's go around the room and introduce yourself in 30 seconds, telling us about uh, your favorite project, hero, hobby, or quote. So I'll start off, I'm Addy, and my favorite hero is right now Spider-Man. I think his superpowers are super cool. So now that everyone's had a chance to get to know each other, we need to talk about some important rules. These help us work well as a team. So would someone like to read law one of the lab? So law one is to respect teammates. Did you share ideas, help someone, or lead your team? Exactly, so respecting teammates means we shouldn't be hitting or yelling at anyone. We need to treat everyone respectfully. Can somebody read law two? So law two is respect your lab. Did you clean up, take care of tools, and sort parts? Perfect. You need to treat stuff like it's yours. No one should be throwing laptops out the window or anything like that. Oops. Um, and let's have, can someone read law three? Did you do any, or don't do stupid stuff. Did you do anything you would not want your parents or teacher to know? Great. Now the best way to know if something is stupid is if you wouldn't want to tell someone like your parents about it, that probably means that you shouldn't be doing it. So we have three consequences for not following the laws of the lab. If you don't follow these rules, you need to apologize to your teammates first of all, and then the first strike means you get a warning. The second strike might mean that you have to write a note to the director, and the third strike, you could even be kicked off the team. Does everyone agree to these? Would anyone like to make an amendment? Great, let's move on. So can someone read this slide? This is the build it yourself mentality. The golden rule, the build it yourself laboratory is for dreamers and builders. Anyone who destroys something or says, I can't will be swizzer blots. So what's swizzer blots? Let's take a look. Watch this video here. Great, let's go back to our slides. So in general, we don't allow mean machines that build it yourself. The Swizzer blots is the one exception, and that's just how important it is to follow the golden rule. Now, at build, build It Yourself, we like to exercise extreme building. Can anyone take a guess as to what this might be? So there's a new technique for building amazing toys, games, and other products at big engineering companies. It's called extreme programming. In the old days, you might see some 50 engineers in front of 50 computers and 50 cubicles, every engineer in their own computer. But today, you actually might see things like teams of two to four engineers around one computer, and one person is typing while the rest of the team is contributing and checking ideas. This technique is called extreme programming, and it's proving to be more productive and produce better results than when everyone's doing their own thing. We practice this kind of technique at Build It Yourself. Now, arguably, getting a human to the moon was one of the most impressive feats of mankind. How many people do you think it took to get to the moon? Does anyone have a guess? Well, actually, it took 36,000 people. That's extreme building at its finest. Now, here are some other cool examples of large, team bu large teams building really spectacular things. Right, to create Lion King, it took some 800 people. The computer game Spore, 180. The bottom line is teamwork is very, very important. So on that note, let's break into teams of two to three members and create some lab books. Let's practice our extreme building and have one team member type while the rest of them share ideas and the typing member can, people can take turns typing. 